Uh, leaf suits are incredibly dangerous. Oh, hi, dear. Aww. Are you gonna do what most my most wild animals do and immediately kill me? Nah, I'm just gonna run away. That's also cool. Oh, so there is one extra gimmick about this game, and that is every time my character dies, everything like nearby me also dies or something like that. We're gonna figure that out later, what that exactly means. I assume it means that I probably shouldn't die, but uh, immediately launching myself directly into a pool of water nearby seems to have uh, kind of been counterintuitive to those plans. But we have indeed established a very important thing, and that is that uh, things that are made out of electricity tend to not do too hot when you uh, dunk them full of uh, dunk them in water. All right, so I'm out of energy. I can't spray energy on to any more of the dead trees or whatever. But if I just run around, I hope that I'll probably be able to recover more of it. Here we go. Uh, I think I probably want to go to the left up here, correct? Not really sure. Oh. Huh. That's, uh... Yeah, that, that's how waterfalls work. That, there is nothing... There is nothing wrong with what I'm seeing there. So, the people that made this game have made a total of three games, I believe. One of which was a sequel to a Slenderman game. So... This is not exactly their, you know, they're, they're, they haven't been around for very long. Uh, I gotta say, this seems like they put a lot of stellar effort into it, but I imagine that due to the fact that this is a $20 game and was made by a extremely new studio, formed in 2010, I believe, that uh, we're probably not going to be seeing, um, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of incidences, incidences like that where it's just like, oh, there's a little corner that's a little bit rougher than what you'd normally expect to see. I wonder if I- can I make that jump? It doesn't quite look like I can. Let's get some space. Let's see, let's back up a little bit. And I'm just gonna run, I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be running. And boom! Uh-oh. Uh Nailed it. Hell yeah. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I think I got turned around and headed back where I started. Uh... Do these mushrooms look similar? Yeah, I managed to get turned around at one point and go back entirely the wrong direction. So that's cool. <laughs> oh, well, I get to live this, like, nice little experience again where I get to, like, skate and run and stuff like that. Whoa! Holy shit, that's cool. Oh, man. I will say, though, that, like, these little moments of, like, sprinting and jumping and stuff like that are quite a rush. Oh, the reason that that waterfall looks the way it does is because you're not supposed to look at it, because you're supposed to be running past everything. Unlike what I'm doing, which is, uh, uh, going the wrong direction and, like, stopping to smell the roses. Here we go, here we go. Let's keep going now. If a uh, bird can run like that, he should be in the Olympics. You know who was in the Olympics and knew, had prosthetic legs and, and knew a lot about life and death? My father once told me, Adam... There's no way you're gonna ever be able to make two Oscar Pistorius jokes in one single video. And I was like, you can't tell me what to do, Dad. And here we are. And here we are. I don't know where to go right now. Uh, up this way? Oh, oh, I see. I just gotta jump on top of these things and then jump on... I gotta jump off of this ramp over here. Yeah. Yeah, jump off this ramp. And then land on this boulder here. Ah, okay. So now I'm actually making progress again. Can I eat these things for energy? I said they were edible earlier. They are edible! Excellent! Ha ah, ha 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 I will eat all these like glowy orble, orble warbles and gain their powers to turn dead things back to life and, and other such good things. Uh, Oh, we're totally fine. Alright, well, if I see anything dead along the way, I hope that I don't just run past it. But I definitely have the energy to resurrect everything I see like that. And... And that thing's fine. Never mind. It doesn't... You don't get any living juices if you're already alive. Greedy-ass trees. Oh, I was thinking they're better than everybody else. It's because they were born a million and a half years ago. Hi, dear. Life can be taken from nearby living things, such as trees and animals. 
Less uh, robust forms of life don't provide energy. I'm not gonna kill these deer. I mean, I guess the game wants me to, so I guess I will. I'll take the energy and give it right back to it. There you go, bro. That guy, <laughs> that deer right there, is thinking to itself like, I just had the weirdest day of my life. Slash dead slash, I don't know, guys. It was, it was nuts. Let's see, we'll resurrect that thing as well. And we'll resurrect that. Is that, resurrect is that resurrectable? Nah, that ain't anything. Oh, the, the, the music stopped, which means I must be done with the section. Probably. Let's see what this says. Restricted uh, area. Unauthorized access within this area constitutes a breach of security. Excavation site authorized personnel only. Cool. Let's go ahead and uh, eat up these orbs. And... Ah. There's a lot of spookiness going on here. There's lots of orbs. Find a way through the ancient ruins. Uh, well, let's resurrect this thing. Seems like these fireflies react to energy. Ah, I see. Uh, by doing that, I opened up a door, apparently. Cool, so there's like a little bit of puzzle-solving aspect to all this as well. Anything dead around here that wants me to resurrect? I don't know. I am getting an incredible journey vibe out of all of this, though. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Holy shit. They predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Wow. Killing those things makes them look horrifying. <laughs> okay. We're going to avoid doing that as much as possible because I don't. Those guys are my friends. And. When you kill them, they get really, really mad at you for that. I also got completely uh, distracted from trying to listen to, like, uh, old-timey whatever her name was. Because I was uh, busy killing the things that she was talking about. Alright, so I brought all the trees back, back black to life. Back to life. And I guess that ends this area. I'm gonna actually go back and pick up some energy because I don't know if I'm gonna be running out of it anytime soon. I also, at one point, apparently grabbed an acorn, which are apparently, like, super rare items in a giant forest. I don't know, maybe it's, like, currency. Like, you give it to, you know, forest animals, like dogs and shit, and you're like, Hey, can I get, a can I get, like, a bunch of, like, poop or whatever it is that they sell you in the forest? Energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. Ah, so that's what, uh... Note from a Pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. Okay, so... This game's just totally a rip-off of Zelda, right? Because if you have to collect four things to get, like, a full canister upgrade, like, that's just a total rip-off. So, um, zero out of ten right there for that. But there's gonna be two canisters in here. Yeah, alright, now I have... Uh... An extra dude dirt a herd of energy. So speaking of natural predators, I wonder if anything's gonna kill me. I mean, aside from water, man's the most dangerous foe. But I think that as long as I just avoid, you know, drinking things or getting thirsty, I think I'll be okay. I should be able to snipe that tree from down here, and I need to find one more acorn tree to complete this section. Let's see if there's one over here. Uh, oh. The military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is gonna want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. Ah. Stupid military always keeping their Iron Man suits away from me. And their GPSs and their Black Hawk spy planes or whatever. Ooh, medallions. 
I got a medal! Yay! These medallions are said to are to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain amber uh, access to its chambers. Hey, got another acorn. Cool. I re I really wish I was listening earlier to uh, what's her face tell me about like what the utility of acorns were. I mean, aside from the very obvious ones of like pretending you're a squirrel and you know making acorn cupcakes and all that usual stuff that people do with acorns. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. Well, I guess there's some down there. I'm gonna explore a little bit, though, because it is a game about exploration, and I feel like I would be very remiss if I did not get, like, all the medallions and acorns that are were promised to me. Hey, maybe I can use the, medalli uh, the acorns to buy medallions. Or, what if it's the other way around? I use the medallions to buy acorns. And then I can commit voting fraud in 2012. All right, let's go ahead and drop down through here. Boom! Yeah, take that, natural wonder. Soldiers piloting leaf suits. Leap effortlessly through air function. Oh, come on. Ugh, are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 uh, kami miles per hour makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. So, they clearly came up with the acronym LEAF and then tried to, like, backronym it into a sentence that made sense. And that was just absolutely painful. I hope that they don't do that again. They're the, they're the secret of life and death. Duh. You put them in your prosthetic legs and use them to make dear your friends. Oh, I can bring things back to life, and you're telling me that the damn skulls in the walls don't come back back to back, back to life? What the hell, guys? It's literally a skull in the wall. It's a skull. Skulls symbolize dead things. Oh, right, water. Yeah, let's go ahead and let that water be. Uh, I've had bad experiences with water in the past. I'm also completely turned around on where I'm supposed to be going right now. Let's see, there's a, this thing. Ah, here we are. This looks like progress. Yep. So I wonder... Okay, so there's got to be like some deeper plot to this game that they're going to be um, exploring throughout all of this stuff, right? So like, where... There's got to be like some weird like ancient four spirits, right, that are that are gonna be like, oh, humanity, what are you doing here? Just sucking up all of your nat uh, all of our life stuff. You know, that's natural resources. We only got a couple hundred of those. It's just like, it's just like coal or nuclear power or whatever, but not nuclear power. So, I assume that there's gonna be, like, some sort of plot like that at some point, and I assume that it's gonna be, like, this weird gigantic flying death motron. Look at this guy, he's made out of gold. He's, he must be the coolest one. Let's kill him. Oh, God, yeah. They, they do not take kindly to being killed. I'll bring him back to life. I haven't seen a whole lot of dead things. I thought that'd be the kind of more, more common in this game. Like, I'm just picturing if this game was a lot more gamified and it had, like, dead trees all over the place and you got to the end of the level and it was like, you resurrected four out of the seven dead trees. You picked up nine of the eight, eight, uh, nine of the ten acorns. You know, maybe, maybe we'll get to that. Maybe at the very end of the game, it just says like, "Hey, you didn't explore very good. The whole point of the game is to explore shit." Ah, uh, we're not going down there. Some things are better left unexplored. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. I'm sprinting. Problems. 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 Ah. Uh... Oh. I see, so that's unavoidable. Leaf suit's quantum death functionality, eh? Huh. Alright. So the valley is slightly more deader now. I have a I have a temptation in my heart. I have a confession to make. I wanna die as hard as I can to see what happens to like all of the uh, surroundings. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more value you die around you. It's fully deadened. The word is dead. Give life back to dead plants or animals to revitalize the valley. What's up, guys? Hey. Can we be friends now? 
Oh. Typical women, female, deer, always running away from me, making me feel weird about myself. Hey, that's a giant tree. Let's see if I can bring that one back to life. I can. That's cool. So, as long as I hit it, like, whatever, it'll, with, like, whatever amount of energy, even if it's, like, a big thing, it's not going to be like, oh, this requires, like, nine, nine capsules of, of, um... Of, of life juice that just requires a, a little a little bit about hey thanks for the acorn guys I just love that the there's a gigantic crunch sound effect too that's associated with me picking up the acorns so it's just like I assume that I'm just storing the acorns like in my mouth like a squirrel and I have seven squirrels right now that are just not squirrels I have seven if I had full squirrels in my cheeks that would be pretty funny but no no I have seven acorns in my cheeks like a giant squirrel Cool. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and light said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. <laughs> Wait, so the military strategy is to chop down all the life trees to kill everything in the world? Because that would be hilarious. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, typically as uh, symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some ask this concept, such as the world tree, Yagaga Drazil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe and its link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to the original sin, causing its fall. Uh, cool. Cool. Look at that. Nice. Anyway, yeah, so, I'm just gonna point out. That if this game is indeed talking about Yggdrasil, that makes it nothing but a tr complete ripoff of World of Warcraft, because that had a Yggdrasil in it. And, you know, this game, it just never stops stealing from all sorts of other games, you know? Actually, this game is really freaking fantastic. Oh, man, this is beautiful stuff here. Alright, let's see, that tree looks kind of dead. As is that one. Any more dead trees? Come on, trees! Come out of your hiding places! You gigantic, immobile things. So I guess this might be probably an approximation of the overworld? Yeah, I guess so. So I have uh, three indicators. I have like these three like temple-looking things. So I assume that I have uh, three, I don't know, temples to like go to and do like quests and stuff like that and bring back life into the valley. I might as well see... Ah, so we follow the roots. No, no, no! Oops. Oh, well. Leaf suits are very heavy equipment. Yeah, I know. I've already died in water once before. It happens to me primarily because yeah, I tried to jump over a lake. 